Part of the Ruger collection will be auctioned off. The Toyota Avalon goes hybrid. Mazda reveals the MX-5 GT, and the SVT Raptor gets even meaner. I'm Jake, bringing you a Wednesday edition of Auto Week TV. Here's the news. RM Auctions yearly sale at the Concorde de Elegance of America will feature 12 classic cars from the collection of William Ruger Jr. Crossing the block on July 28th in Plymouth, Michigan, will be a 1933 Rolls-Royce Phantom II by Brewster, a 1918 Detroit Electric Model 75B Brome, and a steam-powered 1911 Stanley Model 63 Touring Car. Arm hasn't released any info on estimated prices for the Ruger cars, but bring your checkbook because we'd guess that they won't come cheap. Car shoppers eager to get their hands on a 2013 Toyota Avalon will need to make the choice between a V6 or a hybrid powertrain when it goes on sale later this year. This version of Toyota's hybrid Synergy Drive uses a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine and two electric motors. The combination is estimated to produce 200 horsepower and achieve 40 miles per gallon. The hybrid will only be available with a CVT, but Toyota was quick to point out that the six-speed automatic in the V6 car will be available with paddle shifters. Really, paddle shifters on an Avalon? None to see here, enthusiasts. Move along. Mazda will show off its MX-5 GT concept at the Goodwood Festival of Speed beginning on June 28th, which, by the way, is tomorrow. The car was built by Hota Sport and packs 205 horsepower and a sport exhaust. For track use, Hota fitted body color roll hoops and Recaro bucket seats. The car will run in the first glance category at Goodwood and be piloted by Mazda factory drivers. This is the Miata we've always dreamed about. The Ford SVT Raptor will gain even more off-road capability for 2013 with the addition of beadlock wheels as a factory option. What makes these wheels unique is that they can be used both as conventional rims and with the optional beadlock ring for more serious off-roading. Other changes for the 2013 SVT Raptor include optional high-intensity discharge headlights and my Ford Touch. I'm also going to say 2013 SVT Raptor one more time to help goose the search engines. That's the news for today, but stick around as we take a look at how much the SVT Raptor is capable of. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine and iPad Edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.